Hey guys, my name is Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do this blue, silver, like stone blue, icy silver color. I've been wanting to do this color for so long and I think it actually came out decent. This is like my first time doing an all over color like this and I'm really excited about how it turned out. For this being like my really first time wearing another color all over my head, I'm pretty happy with it. And um, if you guys want to see how I got this video, then just, I mean, if you guys want to see how I got this hairstyle, this color, and how I partially installed it and made the wig, then just keep on watching. So this is my first time having 613 hair, and this looks so freaking beautiful, and it's soft. Like, I didn't know if I was going to like Diamond Dynasty because, like, of the whole reality TV thing. You know, I don't really like to buy stuff from reality TV people because I just, I don't know, I'm skeptical. But this so far, this is just my first impression, it's so soft, like it doesn't even feel damaged at all. I have three bundles of 24 inches and I'm really excited to like try it and make this wig, so <sighs> wish me good luck guys. Okay, so I want to show you the frontal. This is the frontal. I ordered it after the bundles and it took a decent time to arrive, but that's the lace. It wasn't that transparent, but I made it work and I'm going to use the watercolor method with the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo just to get rid of that yellow because when you look at it, you see that it's really yellow. So it really helped turn it into a paler blonde. And I did that for all the bundles and all the frontals just to prepare it for the silver color. And it really, it, it did its job, it did its, it, it did its thing, you know? So um, after that, I go to the store to get titanium and platinum. And at first I only got two bottles, but I did need more. I ended up using um, like four bottles all together. I'll leave the exactly how much I use down below, but here when I show you guys the bottles and the hair swatches, you can see that, let me see, is it titanium? I think it's titanium that's more blue. So when you look at the little hair swatches, you can see that, oh, I lied, platinum is more blue than titanium. So if you really want more blue, go for platinum. Okay, so the last clip that you guys saw, you probably saw me going to the store to get some Adore dyes and I have them. Got the platinum color. And this one, I think, has a little bit of blue in it. And I also got titanium. Actually, don't get me lying because I don't remember which one has more blue in it. Because really, when you look at them side by side, it kind of looks the same to be honest. Like you can't really tell from the bottle. Okay, I'm so indecisive, but I think that testing a little piece will help me decide what I wanna do. Let's see if this is enough. I'm gonna put in a little strand of the bundle just to test it. So this is how the hair came out with testing a little bit of the titanium. I'm gonna try a little bit of the platinum. I cleaned the water out just to test it. This real, this is real creative. <laughs> what I'm doing with my hands right now, I'm creative. I'm so creative, guys. I feel like this one is the one that has a little bit more of a blue tint to it. Okay, this is like, okay, this is, this is like darker. I think this is more blue. I think. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but this one is platinum and the one that's closest to my wrist is titanium. This one definitely has more blue. I think if I used platinum, I maybe wouldn't use that much because it seems to be a darker color and I'm kind of going for something in between platinum and titanium. So I think I might mix them and do the watercolor method because it just seems easier. I really like how this gives it just a little bit of something new because you know, platinum gray has definitely been done before, but the little blue tint to it, I think it makes it just a little bit more special. And when I'm bored, I think I'm gonna do that lilac ombre at the bottom. So let's see, hopefully this comes out good. In Manhattan, there's a store called MJ Trimmings and that's where I went to get my thread because I didn't have any white thread. But let me tell you guys, don't buy this one. Get nylon thread if you can. I don't know what type of thread this was. I think it was for a sewing machine, but don't buy that one. Buy the regular weave thread or nylon thread because this one was trash, but I made it work. 
Um, so anyway, I also wanted to get an elastic band, but I didn't want to use the black ones that I used. So I got some white ones and they have all the elastic bands that you could ever want in your whole entire life. So think about going to a fabric store or a craft store if you need to get some. You don't always have to get everything off Amazon, you know, support our local businesses. Okay, yes. Look at that. This one's perfect. Perfect size. Wide enough and you can't really see it that much. And now I'm just measuring my frontal to get started to making this wig. And she loves, I love that she knows what people think about her. Yeah. You know, like, um, and, and, and she doesn't care, like, and she doesn't care, but she knows exactly what people um, think about her being sexy and the criticisms that men have about her and women like her, you know what I mean? Like, um, uh, I can't help them my sexy still, and I'm in love, I'm in love with my sexy still, you know, like, and she, like, she wants what she wants when she wants it, and like, oops, sorry. It's really hilarious when I, like, edit the footage and I, like, hear their conversations. In one of them, I was, like, mm. dying. Like, when you were talking to me, like, in one of them, and I was like, that's hilarious. I'm gonna start here because this is where the last piece of thread ended and I kind of want to go over that because I don't want it to unravel there so I'm just gonna like do a regular stitch right there and then I'm gonna take this part of the needle and wrap it around three times and then I'm going to just pull it through so that it doesn't come out. I just push it over and drag it through and continue to do the same thing. This thread is making it look so messy, but normally it comes out much cleaner and nicer, especially because I'm not doing it on camera. Wow, that one looks really crazy. I feel like this is just happening because I'm doing it on camera, I swear. All right, well, I'm gonna finish the rest off camera. I tried to show you guys, so. You know what, I don't want to be a quitter, so I'm going to show you guys what I would do when something like this happens, and I would just kind of continue on. Oh, it pulled in, look at that. Anyway, so normally I would have just like kept going and then cut it later. So I'm just going to continue the same method. Um, yeah, like I said, it's much easier when you're not doing it on camera. I'm trying not to be a quitter, okay? So. I have the needle there, I'll put it over on this side, and pull it through. That's the kind of stitch I want. See, right there. See what happens when you don't give up, guys? All right. <laughs> See, watch me say something and then the next one comes out crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off camera, like I said. This is how the wig looks when it's all finished. I know I look so good, <laughs> so good. But don't worry, we're gonna look even better at the end of the video. So after this, I start doing my watercolor method. And I'm starting with platinum and I'm trying to make the ratios equal, but honestly, this is not an exact science. You're just gonna have to try and do it by eye. But I tried to use equal amounts of them at first. And yes, I'm using a pencil because I just use whatever's around clearly to mix anything that I have. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure that it's nice um, and mixed in together and the water is very hot, although you cannot tell on camera. And I started with the middle of the wig because whenever I watch these watercolor videos, it seems like the middle is the part that has the hardest time taking. So I started with the middle so that it would try to make it more even. Do I think it really made a difference that I started with the middle in the end of it? I don't know. I don't know if it really made a difference because I still ended up having to use like about three bottles and a half. So I don't know if I would do that again, but I like that I took my time and did it little by little. And um, like when it's finished, I see that some parts have more of the blue on it and some parts have more of the just silver. And I really like that. So I like that I mixed both colors together. I think it came out just like how I pictured, just how I envisioned it. And here it is semi-dry that's how it's looking and when it's dry it looks even lighter than this so I just thought it came out the perfect color for me and I'm really happy with it but I did have trouble when I was trying to size this frontal to install it and I wanted to install it on camera but I wasn't able to because it is not 
easy okay but this is how it looks when i just blow dried it in the next clip it's going to be straightened and i have one of those hairlines that are kind of squiggly and my sideburns come out really far so i had trouble trying to figure out where i wanted to place it because the front of my forehead is really big so it doesn't look natural for it to be all the way down like that but i had to cut the front back a little bit more than i cut the sides i just had to cut into the lace but it was okay it ended up working out you know so You'll see that here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop talking, bye. Okay guys, so I'm finally finished. I hot combed the roots. Um, I don't know, it's still a little bumpy, but I think it came out really good and I just wanted to talk to you guys at the end of the video but you guys saw um a talk through for most of it so i really like how it came out i was debating whether i should curl it or not but mm, i like it like this and i think it looks pretty good um i really want your feedback in the comments let me know what you think would you try this color what do you think i could have done differently do you, do you love it do you hate it <laughs> let me know what you guys think and um i'll see you in the next one bye hi guys um so last time i did what am I talking about? Last time I did this, <laughs> last time I, sh I was on camera with y'all, um, I was in a rush. So I didn't really get to talk too much about the hair, but I wanted to tell you guys that I use a 14 inch frontal. This, at this point, I still haven't edited the video. So maybe I have said this already, but I just wanted to show you guys also that I curled it and I'm using my iPhone. So if my eyes look a little weird, it's cause I'm not sure where to look. I'm using the selfie camera. And so I'll, I don't know, but like, um, yeah, so. Um, I curled it with like, I think an inch, not an inch, like a half inch curling iron and the curls look really nice. I like them. I think that it looks really cute on this hair. I think I like it even better than the straight that I had when I first did it. Um, and Rashida's hair, it's not bad. Like this is the diamond virgin hair dynasty. And I really didn't want to waste my money buying AliExpress hair because I feel like they're 613 which is it would make me cry i hate wasting money i hate when i feel like i've wasted money so yeah i wasn't gonna do that i'd rather pay a little bit more just to be able to keep it and reuse it for another color later on so um that's what i did and if you guys want to know if this hair is good i think it's good so far obviously i've only had it for like a month and i've only had it in my head for like less than a week so i wouldn't be able to give you an in-depth review on it but so far i like how it feels my only qualm would be like the lace i think the lace could be a lot more transparent you know but it's doing okay i think if i if i installed it again i'd be able to make the lace look better but um the waist the waist <laughs> the lace was pretty light um i had to put makeup on it for sure mm. what is that so you guys aren't gonna tell me that I have lipstick on my teeth. All right, yeah, so I like it. I really like it. I really feel like if you're dark skin like me or somewhere around my complexion, this color is really gonna pop on your skin. Like it's, it's beautiful. Am I cross-eyed guys? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. I can't even look at myself because I keep going cross-eyed. Anyway, so I really like how this turned out. Um, I want your feedback, you know, go easy. I know like I messed up, like I tried to do better on my sideburns because at first they were hella thick, but I tried to do better on them and I think I did do a little bit better. Um, and I like plucked some more behind the hairline. I just get nervous to over pluck because Oh my god, I'm rambling. I get nervous to overpluck because um, I'm not a pro and I've made bald spots before. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.